वेलकम टू माई ट्रैक्टो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंटी कैंसर ड्रग स्पेसिफिकली वट टाइप ऑफ एंटी कैंसर ड्रग एरोज इन हैबिटर्स सो एरोज इज बेसिकली एन इंजाइन दैट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द एस्ट्रोजिन विच इज दीरोड हॉर्मोन सो बेसिकली देर आर सम ट्यूमर दैट स्टार्ट प्रोग्रेसिंग वेन दे गेट द हॉर्मोनल स्टिमुलर्स सो वी हैव टू स्टॉप द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द hormone so if we inhibit the aromatase inhibitors then ultimately there is no productions of the estrogen and there is no progressions of the tumor under the influence of the estrogen hormone so basically in this lecture we are going to discuss two category of the aromatase inhibitor that is steroidal nature steroids nature and the non steroids nature so if you see here aromatase inhibitor has two categories first category is the steroidal and second is the non steroidal okay there are some drugs that is actually steroids in nature and there are some drugs that are actually non steroids in nature so in the steroids nature drugs that is most important exemestane exe exe mestain that is steroids in nature and second is the non steroids that is two most important drugs that are actually fall in this that is anestrozol and letrozol so these are basically the two drugs that are non steroids in nature okay so basically you will see two types of tumor okay if you see here there are some tumors when they get the hormonal stimulus here is the hormonal monal stimulus under the influence of the stimulus they will get regress that's the most important thing the tumor size decrease okay second there are some tumors when they get the hormonal stimulus hormonal stimulus under the hormonal stimulus they starts progressing under the influence of the hormonal stimulus that are basically the hormone dependent tumor they starts progressing there are basically the two categories there are some tumor that are hormone responsive and there are some tumor that are hormone dependent so if we stop the hormone stimulus then ultimately we can cure the tumor that are actually hormone dependent so in this lecture we will just focus on the hormone dependent tumor that are actually most important is the breast cancer example okay so first of all we will discuss the general aspects of the estrogen estrogen is basically the hormone that is steroids hormone okay Estrogen is basically steroid hormone, but just keep one thing in your mind. This is the steroids hormone, and we discuss these are basically drugs that can be either steroids in nature and non-steroid in nature. So don't get confused between the drugs and the hormone. Okay, so estrogen is basically the steroids hormone, and estrogen actually produce. from different organs in our body okay like ovaries testes ad adrenal gland and different lot of organ so if you see if the estrogen produced from the adrenal gland then it is called adrenal source that is the productions of the estrogen okay and there are some situation when the estrogen produce outside the adrenal gland that are basically called the extra adrenal source so in the extra adrenal source you can say the skin skin can also be the source of production of estrogen fat okay muscles breast so these are basically the different sources of the estrogen production okay so if we discuss the mechanism of the actions okay that we are going to discuss most important reaction that is 
एरोमेटेज रिएक्शन इन दिस रिएक्शन यू विल सी द्रू विच यू विल सी द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द एस्ट्रोजिन एंड दैट मोस्टली हैपन इन द एक्स्ट्रा एड्रीनल सोर्सेज ओके सो इफ यू सी हेयर दैट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंपाउंड इज द एंड्रो स्टीन डाई ऑन दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंपाउंड दिस कंपाउंड इज एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द कोलेस्ट्रॉल दैट इज एक्चुअली प्रेजेंट इन अवर बॉडी ओके सो दिस कंपाउंड कैन बी इंटर कन्वर्टेबल विद द टेस्टोस्टिरोड दैट इज द एंड्रोजिन हॉर्मोन ओके this compound can be interconvertible with the testosterone that is actually androgen hormone okay now androestrin diode and the testosterone has two pathway in the productions of the estrogen okay so if you see androestrin diode actually produce the estrone that is actually the estrogen hormone and the testosterone actually produce the extra diol that is actually again the estrogen okay now these basically you will see the three form of the estrogen if i write it here you see three form of estrogen estron extra diol and estriol estriol so estron estradiol and estriol these are basically the different form of the estrogen okay now these two form can also be interconvertible okay now in the formations of the estron from the androestrin diode and the estradiol from the testosterone you require the most important enzyme you require the most important enzyme and that is aromatase enzyme aromatase enzyme now when we take the drugs that is actually aromatase inhibitor these drugs actually bind with the aromatase enzyme and inhibit the aromatase enzyme when the aromatase enzyme inhibit then ultimately the conversion or formations of the estron and the estradiol will not happens if there is no these hormone that is the estrogen there is no progressions of the tumor specifically breast cancer that is the breast cancer okay that actually require the hormonal stimulus so that is the most important aspects which you have to remember about the aromatase inhibitors okay these drugs actually inhibit the aromatase enzyme that is very much important in the production of the estrogen okay next we will discuss the pharmacokinetics so aromatase inhibitor drugs actually metabolize in the liver that's the most important thing they will metabolize in the liver okay through cytochrome enzyme family okay and they excreted from the body through the urine okay the source of excretion of these drugs is the urine that is most important thing okay and keep one thing in your mind that aromatase inhibitor mostly taken through oral route the route will be the oral they actually taken through oral route okay if we discuss the clinical use as we have discussed the most important cancer that is the breast in the treatment of the breast cancer but most important thing which you have to remember that these drugs is only feasible in the post menopausal women if we give these drugs to the pre menopausal and the menopausal women then they cause adverse effect they also decrease the hormone that are actually required in these hormone pre menopausal and the menopausal women so actually these drugs given to the post menopausal women those women whose menopause cycle have been stopped okay if we discuss the adverse effect steroidal that is eczema stain and non steroidal is the 
anastrozole, letrozole. Okay, if we discuss the steroidal, first that is the most important adverse effect is the hot flash. That's the most important thing. Second thing that is the nausea. Again, that is the most important adverse effect. And third is the alopecia, the loss of hair. Okay, and last is the dermatitis. Dermatitis. So, these are basically the different four adverse facts that are actually fall in the eczema strain. And non-steroidal anastrozole, letrozole, that is again, that is the similar hot flashes, okay, nausea, nausea, and you can also see the osteoporosis in the bone, osteoporosis, okay. The bone marrow density start decreasing and you can say ischemic cardiovascular problem as well ischemic cardiovascular problems okay last most important the contraindication these drugs cannot be given to the premenopausal woman that is actually before the menopause and the menopausal woman because these drugs actually decrease the estrogen hormone severely decrease in estrogen hormone in these women so these drugs is specifically prescribed to the post menopausal women so this is all about the aromatase inhibitor if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much